Hello everyone, thank you for watching my channel. This is The Pretend Critic and I just watched Aquaman last night. So should you dive in the deep with Aquaman? Before I go ahead and tell you what I thought about the movie, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel. So Aquaman, AKA Arthur Curry, uh, played by Jason Momoa, is a half Atlantean and half a uh, human. He is tasked in this movie to find himself to be a reluctant to be a king because he has to go ahead and defeat his half brother, Orm, aka Ocean Master, before he destroys the surface world, which is the humankind, to protect Atlantean. So what did i think of the movie if you don't know my reviews it's gonna be basically i'm gonna break it down in four categories acting script directing overall how i felt about the movie with acting it's chemistry it's the performance with actors with directing it's the cgi and the team the cinematography and the pacing with script it's the dialogue it's the lines that's been given and probably the plot as well. And then overall, it's, did I feel good? Did I leave the movie theater uh, liking the movie, re want to rewatch it? And should it be watched in a big screen or wait until it streams? What was the acting good? What is the acting for Aquaman? Acting was actually good all around. I mean, there's some minuses and plus with Jason Momoa because he actually played Jason Momoa. That was very evident. It wasn't the Aquaman, but it was Jason Momoa having fun, which was great. Amber Heard really performed very well, so that was a plus. Willem Dafoe and Duff Longren was a plus. Black Manta, I couldn't really tell because it he played a small role and also his screen time was small but it does set up everything for future future Aquaman. the standout for me was patrick wilson patrick wilson was really you know he you saw him he had his motivation it's against the surface world protecting at the underwater see and nicole kitman nicole kitman was really really badass <laughs> And there is a standout, there is a voice that you will hear. And it's very, very, very distinct. And she really stole the show. It gave it gravitas. It gave it more oomph, oomph, per se. And that was good. So with that, I mean, my score is usually out of five. I would say acting was a four. Uh, what took it down was actually the chemistry between Jason Momoa and Amber Heard. It was kind of, first it did not gel, but at times it really did and it kept going up. Especially the end scene, you really now found out that they really are good together. I guess they got comfortable. I'm not sure how they, and so it's four out of five for me. And the script, uh, it's cheesy. It's the cheesiest, cheesiest uh, thing that you could say. Uh, 1980s prefer uh, reference, I mean. But it was a tone. They committed to it and Jason Wan committed to it. There are some dialogues that are one-liner that you would say, oh. The plot was uh, pretty simple. Uh, half man, half Atlantean, uh, Arthur Curry needs to defend and become a hero so he can defend planet Earth or the surface world. And it was, it was kind of basic. So that was a plus to it. The cheesiness at times actually put it down. Again, the dialogue put it down. Just kind of sometimes really dragged it down a little bit. But not enough to say, ugh. Not like other movies that you said, really? Is that what it said? Because you could see that Jason Moe would say it. It's just, I guess it just doesn't fit. You know what I mean? So it's a three out of five for me for the script. How about directing? Well, directing was really good by uh, Jason James Wan. I mean, the action scene was great. 
the CGI was not perfect but was beautiful it had the world building and you you felt like you were going to Atlantis and it was beautiful the way the color palette the the trench was great even the rooftop that was adrenaline the only thing that I would say even the sound that he you know the score of the film was very very good cinematography was really good there was an action scenes again where he pans out and then rolls in circles back that was great the only thing that I would not agree with the way he is he went too cheesy I guess I don't know how you can beat it at especially with the soundtrack it did not work but overall with the CGI being good, world building being good, pacing was uh, really good, CGI was the best. I think this elevated to whatever CGI it is. I mean, it is 80 to 90% underwater, so I have to forgive them to that because they did something great feat. So for directing, it's a 4 out of 5. So overall, how did I feel about, about Aquaman? How, how did I feel overall about Aquaman? It's rewatchable, especially with the CGI. It's so beautiful. It's, it's the thing that, you know, in Avatar, you saw Pandora and you said, wow. Here, you knew it was, but it was great. Especially the trench. You saw the talent of James Wan with his horror background with Conjuring, Annabelle, Saw, and other uh, of that universe. You really saw his talent and the stamp. That was m the most memorable scenes that I had. The trench, the Italy scene, and the very last act. Some superhero movies, you get good first act, second act, and then the third act went down. Here, it, the film started out slow for me. And it kept building and building and building and building. And it's kudos to James Wan. So overall, I would say 5 out of 5. Overall of 16 out of 20, so about 80%. It is, in conclusion, a movie that you should watch at least twice. Once for getting, you know, be involved in the world building. Two, to feel it really sink in. For me, I'm going to watch it again. Five, that's why it's an 80 for me. And have you watched Aquaman? If you have, leave a comment down below. I really must say that it is a must-see. Watch it in the largest screen possible. IMAX if you have it. If you have any other one, again, watch it in, watch it in a screen as big as you can. So that is my view for Aquaman. Again, acting was competent and great. Highlights were some voice acting. I'm not going to say who. I might do a spoiler for it. So that was a four out of five. Script was the one that uh, slowed it down for me, that it did not make it even bigger. And then James Wan's directing, kudos to him. Just a slight a choice of the sound and but other than that it was great the action scene and cinematography overall again I felt I like this I want to watch it again and that is it so by the way I do have other reviews down below there's the spider-man into the spider-verse review down below also I have a playlist of all the reviews that I have and keep watching and that's a wrap